It's getting too cold for this shit. You hear me, Winter? You got till March after that? Fuck off! Alright. I couldn't... Well, I got a couple more things to try. I, I couldn't find a uh, picture of this myself, but uh, if, if you go to um, at Skippy on Twitter, you'll be able to find the limited edition Skippy Creamy Peanut Butter Spread with Salted Caramel. Like, like I said, most of the pictures I tried to find was like for stuff for like baking actual recipes with the stuff, which is probably, if I knew how to bake, I probably would actually go with that, but I'm just going to try it by itself for now and see how we, oh, got a little bit on me already. Smells good. Tastes pretty good, too. All right. Well, that was a... I forget that'd be kind of a no-brainer. And to see how this is with, like, um... On things. So this will probably be fantastic on, um... Apples. I do that with peanut butter. That It's a caramel apple, just a little salt with the peanut butter. Whew, that's gotta be... I'm definitely gonna be doing that later tonight. Oh, all right. Alright, I do have pictures for this, um... Chex Mix tried to do the, um, sweet things with some of their stuff, and they did really well, so, um... And this has been going on in, like, I was looking for pics of this, I don't know what country it's from, but... Uh, Cheetos have been doing the Sweetos thing in somewhere else for quite some time, but this is the first time we're seeing it here, yeah. There's some time for Easter, because it's got little bunny ears, you can see the, uh, cinnamon sugar puffs. I'll give these a try. They smell fantastic, too. I put some of the salt in on those, what you call it. I don't know. That might be overkill. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. That's just what I expected with them, too. That's pretty good. Because Tito's is usually, like, balls to the wall on um, their chilies and everything. So you get, like, m like one or two watercolors. You get, like, orange dust all over your fingers. I'm just gonna... so now I get the... <laughs> no exception to these, but yeah. Two for two, I say. And last, uh, speaking of, uh, cinnamon sugar, I got things that were, like, two for five, the, uh, Snyder's pretzel poppers. Um, I didn't get the original because I was like, hmm. They also got, uh, bow ties as well. I saw, I did see them there, too, but I didn't get any of them. I, it was only, like, a, like, an onion kind of thing, and then there was, like, an everything pretzel on it. Snyder's has been, uh, really interesting. The last new thing, though, I tried, I forget what it is, but it was like a weird kernels with like, um, it was like taco or something like that, I don't know, but it was like super duper spicy, it was just like eating like, um, how do I explain this, um, some of you might remember back in the, uh, early, early, like, back when, uh, hers nacho chips were just called that. They weren't, uh, nachilas. They were just called hers nacho chips. And you'd always get, like, that one really, really, uh, really, 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 um, powdered up, uh, chip all the way at the bottom. I was just, like, all dust. The whole bag was that. I was just, ugh. If I can find a picture of them, I'll put them up and show you, but, man. These will probably be a little bit tamer, I'm thinking, than the, um... Cheetos, without question, but combined with a pretzel, they might actually be like even better. That's pretty nice. You get a little bit of the cinnamon sugar, but it's mostly pretzel after that. So you only get like maybe like like that much, as opposed to the straight up. Just all around cinnamon sugar thing of the Cheetos. It almost was like eating uh, breakfast cereal or something like that. That's how, that's how strong those were. 
And I got the the three cheese here. Looks like um I don't know, I want to say cheddar parm and something else. Maybe Asiago or whatever they do. Not really a big cheese person. Ooh, it smells strong. Maybe it was Swiss or something. I don't know. I mean, it's like it's like a sharp cheddar. Like you're getting a very very strong smell and taste to it. Like very one of them like whiter cheeses, kind of. Been on the fence with that one, I guess, with like, what you call it? That probably would be good with, but I'm thinking, like with that kind of cheese, I can only think to put it in like a, a meat sauce, you know, like um, the spaghetti kind of thing, or pizza sauce or something like that, like tomato or whatever. It'd probably be amazing in that. But yeah, oh man, really, uh, really good setup. Um, I was telling my Twitter, there was a couple of the things I tried that, um, you should definitely track down. There's um, these Eggo breakfast sandwiches I've had most recently. Um, I just did the one with, there's like egg and cheese. That's the one I just go with because I don't do, uh, I'm kind of on the fence about breakfast meats very early on. They usually give me like really bad heartburn. And, um, sausage is okay in like small doses, but again, I'm just kind of okay with. Pardon me. I keep seeing commercials for um the... Uh, peanut butter and jelly pop tarts. I haven't found those. Mm -mm. I did find red velvet Oreos though. I guess they were a special thing for Valentine's Day. Those are must have. Track them down definitely. Uh, I think uh, I had one more thing, but no. Uh, I forget the name of it, but I found like um. Well, you know, if you go to stadiums or movie theater or something like that, you get, like, nachos and they give you, like, the uh, cheese whiz and it's, like, the cheese, but it's, like, got, like, a little jalapeno spice to it. I managed to find that in, like, a store somewhere. So. I can't remember that name off the top of my head, but if I find a picture, you'll see it on here. But, yeah. Mm. At least I'm doing pretty good with these. I guess I get a different store or whatever and getting all these better ones, you know. So, yeah. Um, I don't know about the bow ties, but I'm just looking at these like, eh, maybe, I don't know. Like, again, it's just been really, really hard to get like, outside because it's just really, really bad out here. And my, if I sound a little weird, I apologize. My throat's kind of, and again, and again, I got to find the uh, Hall's cough drops and just take care of that. <clears throat> Sorry. Miss Ginger, I'll hopefully try to keep it down. Uh, anyway, I'm just going on and on, but yeah. All four of these, I'd say, are winners. You know, find them. Definitely. I'm definitely going to be doing something later with this uh, salted caramel. i gotta got to find apples, crackers, anything, you know? Maybe even if it's a jelly sandwich. I'm curious about that. I don't know. Uh, it makes me think of them, um, the jars of Smucker's peanut butter, like, with the jelly in the same jar. I do oh. Who the fuck came up with that? I'm, I... That don't sound appetizing. Like, not in the same jar, no. I don't even use the same um, knife to spread both the peanut butter and jelly. Like, no, that's mm, to me. <laughs> oh, maybe it's good. I'm getting through, like, a... I'm having a weird food phase where I'm starting to like certain things again that I did not like as a kid. Like, um... Um, Annie Ann's will do like a weird hot dog pretzel and I just devoured that thing. I was like, oh, there's a hot dog in this. I'm like, it just smelled too good to not to pass up. You know what I mean? And like I said, I'm finding, uh, I didn't really like sausage as a kid, but now like just outside, just like with things or with the right condiment, it's good. You know what I mean? And I think, I think that's what I'm discovering for the foods I did not like as a kid. I'm, I'm starting to get into now. I'm, I'm coming back to a lot of things and you know giving things a second chance you know i'm the type of person uh, i guess that's where this stemmed from like because somebody asked uh last episode like why i do these episodes and that's yeah basically i'm just i, I will i'll definitely i'll will try that sort of thing it's you know it's got me uh, some interesting finds and i figured i'd spread the word and 
you guys will find it too, and if you do, you'll like it too. Yeah. Everybody's different. I get that. I, I like. Like I don't like cheese, but I'm definitely a big fan of like the. I'm weird when I'm weird when it comes to cheese. I don't like I don't like like actual cheese, like burnt like uh burnt cheese on things really disgust me. I'm like. Ugh. Some of you people might actually like burnt cheese. It might be like the best part of things. Like I'm very on the fence. Like, but again, yeah, I love that concession cheese that I found. I, I'm like, okay, it's a lot though. So I had to put it in like a big uh, what you call it and keep it like refrigerated for a while. I just I got like um, they were on sale. Um, Choo Choo's had like a their own like bag of just like regular chips, and they're like the really really crispy ones. So. Make a, they make a good ship, so. Anyway, it's been going on for a while now. <laughs> Longer than I thought I would. Just to try four things, but yeah. Thanks for listening. Take care.